Hi guys, today we are going to Mount Tambourine, but right now we are actually walking to Curtis Falls. And I've just started walking on the path right now and it is so beautiful already. You go straight into rainforest, you can hear all the birds, it's just really really beautiful. It's like the perfect day to do it too. It's 28 degrees here and it's lovely and warm. There's the water right down there. So I've just been over to Curtis Falls and it was beautiful as expected. Um, there were a few people there so we couldn't really take as much photos as freely as we wanted. It was during the week so I expect it would be much busier in the weekend. Um, right now behind me is the creek that sort of leads off from the falls and we're going to head back up the path and we might check out the main street. Um, there are some lovely quirky shops that I'm really really excited to get to. I'm really looking forward to doing some exploring. One of the shops on the main street was an actual cuckoo clock place and um, it was so impressive. It was probably one of my favourite shops on the main street. Um, they had a huge collection of small um, European cuckoo clocks. They also had a really large collection of grandfather clocks. This store also had a collection of Bushka dolls and um, they were so pretty. On the back wall of the shop there was their huge collection of grandfather clocks. They were all polished um, in impeccable condition. Um, I think anyone would love to have one of these clocks in their homes. What I really loved about this store is that they had touristy items too. So they had hand carved wooden items, they had um, reindeers for Christmas, they also had little hand carved Santas.
I think what I loved most about this store were the cuckoo clocks themselves. I love the amount of detail and craftsmanship that went into making each clock. You can see the hours and hours of work it would have taken to actually make these. It's just incredible. What I liked about the main street was there was so much greenery amongst all the shops. Um, this is an example of one of the shops and there is a huge garden out front and I just love it. I went to a local cafe for lunch and the food was healthy, reasonably priced and really tasty. After we finished looking at all of the local shops, we ended up going to the botanical gardens at Mount Tambourine. The gardens are completely run by volunteers. They were in such great shape, like they were tended to so well. Um, there were lots of different varieties of plants and there were also all these different sections to explore. So there was a section dedicated to the rose garden, um, there was a section with the orchids, there was also a little Asian um, Chinese influence section as well. Overall, I had an amazing day and there are still plenty of places at Mount Tamarindo that I would love to explore. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.